So this is instructions for how to copy, paste, and print. Do a Google image search for the thing that you want to print out. Say I need a trash can full of food. If you type in something really specific, you're gonna get better results. If you type in something really vague, you're not gonna get very good results. So perhaps this is excellent for me. What you should do is you can sometimes click on this image and steal it. Sometimes it's not the best thing to do. I like to click this visit button right here and this will take me to the full size image but it also takes you to the page. So you have to kind of sort through things. I can, on my image, right click and say copy image. Where I'd like you to paste these is actually into Microsoft Publisher. So in your start menu, you may have to go to Microsoft Office first. If I scroll down, you'll see Microsoft Office. If I open that, I can open up Microsoft Publisher. Inside Publisher, I will be able to just choose a blank, normal size paper. And what I will do is right click to paste my image. So right click, paste, and my image should show up just fine. Notice it's a lot bigger than my paper right now, so I'm gonna have to resize it and make it smaller. You have these rulers going across the top and down the side that show you how big everything will be. So if you need to know how big it's gonna be on your project, take a ruler, compare it to your project, and size it up. In order to help you figure that out, you can also change your view at the top to 100%, and then it's almost realistic size, and you can compare it side by side with your project. So inside of Microsoft Publisher, after you've right-clicked to paste, I would like you to title this document with your name. From your home menu at the top, draw a text box, write in your name, so that when it prints out, we know who it belongs to. You can also use your text box to type in your words. So I will go back to my home screen, click draw a text box, draw another text box. Perhaps I need the text of in the United States. So if I have my text that I would like here, I can also figure out how big I want it to be. Right now, it's quite small. So change the size of your text to as big as you want it to be. Change it to the color that you want it to be. Maybe I want it to be bright red. Maybe I even want it to print out. Um, in a different font that's a lot more fun and I also want the background to be another color. Maybe I don't want the white. So where you go for that is in your text or your drawing tools. Go to format, change the shape fill. Say I want it on a background of purple. Now when I print it and cut it out to glue it onto my project, it's on a purple background instead of a white background. When your page is full, so as you can see, if I go back to view, whole page, it's not quite full yet. When your page is full of pictures or words, I want you to print to B120. So in your options, if you press File, Print, and your printer here, B120 is where you need to print to you may print a maximum of two pages. So after I click this printer, obviously I'm gonna choose the word print. After you choose print, it'll print out. If you wanted to make both pages on this same document, it's really easy to do. The insert screen, click page. Now I have my two pages. I can fill those up and then print when I'm done. You may choose to save this in your number drive when you are done, or you can just close it all knowing that you have your printouts. That is your basic introduction on copy, pasting, and printing.